Hi there, this is Bad Fit Readings again. Um, I've decided to do a fanfic that will come in multiple parts this time, so you'll get something a bit more substantial. This one's called Data Goes Ballistic. Um, it's not bad because of spelling and grammar, that side of things is actually, you know, pretty much alright. Uh, the main problem is that Data actually goes on a rape, murder and necrophilia spree throughout the Starship Enterprise, which... Even if you've only watched one episode of Star Trek, you'll realise that's completely ridiculous and out of character for Data, so this is not going to be appropriate for children, any part of it, so uh, that applies throughout the whole series. So, I'll continue reading Data Goes Ballistic. Data Goes Ballistic, aka That Dang Chip. Geordie closed the access panel and Data said, See, Data, I told you everything is just fine. I know you're upset about Spot, but you'll get over it in time. You just have to get used to your emotions, that's all. He patted Data on the shoulder. Aren't you looking forward to tomorrow? I do not know, Geordie. I have not been able to concentrate on anything in the past uh, 63.5 days. Sometimes I wish I had not asked you to install the emotion chip. Data was not telling Geordie the whole truth, though. In between the wild mood swings, the suicidal thoughts and his short, and his short fuse, there was one thing that he had been able to concentrate on. The new emotion of lust. However, the program did not seem to be working properly, and Data felt an inexplicable reluctance to discuss this function with anyone even his best friend. Overcoming his shyness, Data turned to Geordie and opened his mouth to speak. Then he stopped as he saw Geordie staring at a pad. I just have to keep looking at it to believe it. The newest, most advanced ship in the fleet. The naming it their Enterprise and giving it to us. And I get to oversee final construction details. Ha ha! Geordie looked more gleeful than Data had ever seen him. Data did not want to spoil his good mood now. Data continued to look at Geordie, who was oblivious to all but the pad. Luckily, Data had synthesised uniform trousers in a couple of sizes too big. Nobody saw the expansion in them now, but they, they didn't help his discomfort any. Data inserted his hand into the nearest TPS power tap, slightly burning his outer covering. Damage routines pounded their messages into his positronic brain, temporarily overriding sexual functions. Data sighed as the ache in his groin eased slightly. Geordie looked around. Wonder what's causing that power drain? The chief engineer of Starbase 173 stalked past to check a panel. You know, Data, Geordie whispered, I don't think they do enough maintenance around here. They seem to have these power drains pretty often. Maybe we should give them a hand. As Geordie le led them out of the diagnostic lab, Data quickly clasped his hands together to hide the damage. The Starbase engineer glared suspiciously at him anyway. Of course, Data knew what had been causing the power drains. Actually, Geordie, I have a few things to finish before we transfer to the Enterprise tomorrow. I shall meet you there. OK, see you tomorrow, Data. Geordie turned left out of ops. So Data turned right. Checking to see that no one was looking, Data stepped into the nearest head and fused a small piece of bioplast sheet into his damaged hand. Those plasma shocks weren't the best of anything he had tried yet. While humans had recommended a cold water shower, that did not seem to work for him. To the casual observer, he would look normal. Of course, all his fingerprints had been uh, obscured and would not grow back for several weeks but he was not concerned about them. He seemed to be functioning within normal parameters now, except for the fact that he could not decide what to do next. The emotion chips seemed to root through in random directions, from which they bounced back to his consciousness in no particular order. 
he wandered towards the turbo lift holodeck area. Against all odds, Lieutenant Barkley had salvaged his only saved holodeck program and the copy data had downloaded to make reassuring weight in his pocket. The holodeck area of the starbase was quite similar to that on the Enterprise. He entered an empty holodeck and plugged the cartridge in. Deanna Troy's former office appeared, as does Deanna's image. Computer! Lock holodeck 4J! Privacy lock engaged. Deanna looked closely at Data. Sauntering over and grasped him in a warm, friendly hug. Hello, Data. What can I do for you today? I am in need of advice. Why don't you sit down and tell me what's troubling you, Data? Her eyes lingered on him. As she let him go, drawing her fingers through his hair, Data sat down hesitantly on the edge of his chair. Then, on impulse, he relaxed deeply into it, closing his eyes. You can tell her it is just a program. It is not real. Nobody will know. I do not believe my sexual programs have been functioning normally since the emotion chip was installed. I see. She sounded sympathetic enough. In the last 8.9 weeks, I have had sex with 51 beings of different species and sexes. They all appear to enjoy the experience. However, I cannot achieve orgasm. He felt his face warm by several degrees. He knew it must be bright gold. This embarrassment is quite intense. Intriguing that I can still feel embarrassed in front of no one but a hollow. He felt the front of his uniform trousers being rudely unsealed. Don't worry, Mr. Data. I'll help you with that. Indeed, this counsellor was programmed to be horny. She leapt on top of him with gleeful expression and started to do her job, unfortunately causing him to have intense erection. Somehow Data doubted this program would help him. He needed an answer, and the standard Starfleet Freud program was a bunch of hooey. He was too shy to ask any real people about the problem, but he was at a loss at what to do. Then suddenly, the emotion chip took a random thought, altered it, and threw it back to his consciousness. The image of a battle. No, she is too close. Computer, cling on short sword. It shimmered into view at his side. Grabbing it, he quickly sliced the image of Troy from its left shoulder to the right side of its abdomen. The computer obediently produced some green hollow fuzz along the cut. Then her top half slid to the floor. As she vanished, servos in Data's groin contracted slightly, bringing him just a hint of relief. A small amount of cum splashed on the floor. Ha ha! The hollow cleaning program won't have any trouble with that! His penis was only partially erect now. He remembered slashing the Troy image over and over. His erection slowly disappeared, leaving only a small amount of discomfort. Data dressed, ended the program, and left the holodeck.